Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Mark Alessi. Now if you want to understand winter weather and its relationship to climate change, you have to start with the polar vortex. So the polar vortex is basically a highway of very strong winds that encircles the North Pole, and it's a very high in the atmosphere, about 10 miles up. Now just below the polar vortex is something called the polar jet stream, and the polar jet stream basically separates very cold Arctic air at the North Pole from warmer air in the mid-latitudes where we live here uh, in the United States. So when the polar vortex is strong, it and the polar jet stream kind of act like a wall, uh, keeping that very cold arctic air locked away at the North Pole. But sometimes we get these things called atmospheric waves and temperature spikes that can kind of knock the vortex off balance, causing it to wobble, split up, um, or even reverse direction uh, completely. And this can actually lead to a wavier polar jet stream allowing cold arctic air to escape from the North Pole into the United States, causing frigid and plunging temperatures and all sorts of chaos. So the link to climate change here with the polar vortex is complex. Changes in things like sea ice coverage, which is at a record low in some locations, uh, can impact atmospheric waves, which can then uh, impact the polar vortex and weaken it, leading to more cold air outbreaks here in the US. Um, but again, the science is complicated, and that's why the current administration's relentless attacks on NOAA are super uh, unhelpful. Um, so this holiday season, it's really important to show your local meteorologists or climate scientists some love uh, and please support science and scientific funding today.